Hey, 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 it's Mamie Bagman, Virtual Power Party Candidate for the Government of Utah. And today, I want to talk about Paul Manafort. Paul Manafort, the campaign chairman of the Trump campaign until he was fired uh, for some reason or another. And uh, so he's been accused of federal charges, and I guess he's uh, pleading guilty or something. And, and he's going he's gonna to roll over. And uh, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, there, there's actually... Uh, all of these charges are like money laundering related charges and it has and it all deals with the years before he was associated with the Trump campaign which makes me wonder like first of all why is Robert Mueller investigating things from like 2012 2013 before Trump was even like a candidate in this go around now he did kind of dip his dick into the candidacy back in 2012 but it didn't seem like it was really serious and uh, because of his prior thing, you know, like even in 2016, a lot of people thought that he wasn't really serious about running for president. But he, when he did run for president in 2016, he hired Paul Manafort, and Paul Manafort uh, uh, had some shady dealings with Tony Podesta. Oh, God, Tony Podesta, like the world's biggest lobbyist. And uh, he's going he's gonna to basically give full testimony about uh, a number of people, and even... Even the liberal NPR says that the that this cooperation deal uh, will not be about the Trump campaign, which makes me wonder: is is the Mueller investigation really about Trump and Russia, or is the Mueller investigation actually just just about Russia and draining the swamp? It'd be really funny because Mueller is like part of the swamp. And right before Donald Trump got, or right before Mueller got appointed special counsel, uh, he was actually interviewed by Trump, like the day before Rod Rosenstein hired him. He was interviewed by Trump to be the, uh, the FBI director, even though he wasn't eligible to be. I don't know the full details on it, but that's what I've read on the internet, which uh, obviously makes it true. And... So Trump interviewed him to be FBI director, which is weird because, you know, the, like the day after he interviewed him, Rod Rosenstein hired him to be the investigator for the, for the, the, uh, the, the Russian collusion and the Russian scaremongering campaign that exists right now that the CNN and MSNBC just can't, they can't stop talking about that and uh, Michael Avenatti. Uh, by the way, about Michael Avenatti, I watched the interview with Tucker Carlson last night, and that's comedy gold. That Michael Avenatti is sitting there saying, "Well, you can't be calling people names," and then and then uh, you know Tucker Carlson didn't, and then and then Michael Avenatti brought up the the, the, the nickname that Tucker Carlson used, which was a creepy porn lawyer, right? And and calling the, the, the Stormy Daniels was called a porn star. And, oh my God, what a degenerating, like, uh, comment to make. You're a porn star. Uh, you know, that, that just goes to show where Michael Avenatti's real opinions on sexuality uh, exist, where he considers the word porn star to be a pejorative. Um, and so, Tucker Carlson asks, or, no, Michael Avenatti asks Tucker Carlson if he's ever watched porn. And Tucker Carlson says, and this is paraphrasing, he says, Ooh, you got me. You know, I'm actually into humiliation porn. That's why I watch you on CNN every day. <laughs> That's brilliant, Tucker. I love it. Keep it going, man. Like, I, I got to tell you, like, Tucker Carlson, Sean Hannity, those guys are actually really good. Like, back in the Trump, uh, or back in the uh, in the Bush days, I, I hated Hannity's guts because I felt him as as an apologist for everything that uh, that was wrong with America, being, of course, Donald, or being, of course, uh, George Bush. Uh, Donald Trump is everything that's right with America. And, uh, you know, I fully support my God Emperor. And so anyway, this, uh, my, this Paul Manafort guy uh, is uh, going to testify. And apparently the, the big names that are involved are uh, uh, Vin Jones or Van Jones. Is that his name? Van Jones, I think. Yeah, who was one of uh, Obama's uh, top uh, advisors uh, in the, the early part until he got a hot mic 
you know, leaked. Uh, there's Greg Craig, who was uh, Obama's White House counsel, and Tony Podesta, who's the world's biggest lobbyist, uh, with deep, deep ties to the Clinton administration and the deep state. And NPR says this cooperation deal of Manafort's will not be about the Trump campaign. This is like a shoe dropping right now. Paul Manafort, member of the deep state, was sent as a plant into the Obama administration. And even Q has acknowledged as much, saying that uh, plants need water when asking about Paul Manafort and whether he'll be free. All right, so Paul Manafort was a plant from the deep state into the, into the Trump campaign. And he actually made it to campaign manager, which is a good job for the, uh, for the, uh, the deep state. I'm, I'm really glad that they did that because now we have a guy who's rolling over on them. And these people are freaking scurrying. They're scared. Now, everybody poo-poos about Mueller and says that Mueller's like the worst thing ever and that Mute this whole thing is a witch hunt. I disagree. I think this is all part of the plan, as Q says. Rod Rosenstein and Robert Mueller maybe aren't as bad as... Maybe they made a deal, you know, that, that their, their real crimes and stuff like that maybe won't be revealed because I'm sure that they have a number of them. Uh, for instance, Rod Rosenstein uh, signed off on the FISA and refused to say in Congress whether he actually read the FISA application. Ah, that's a big thing. That maybe he just rubber-stamped it like the, like the FBI and the DOJ used to do. Uh, not so much anymore, but... <laughs> uh, like, like the whole, you know, Steele dossier. Rod Rosenstein's involved in this thing. I don't think he's necessarily as guilty as other people. Uh, but, <laughs> but he's working for the team and it's funny because this is like this gigantic, it's a gigantic play that's being presented before us where you have Jeff Sessions and you have Rod Rosenstein and they're so against Trump and they refuse to do anything to investigate and Trump's on Twitter talking about blah, 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 you know. Rosenstein and Mueller, those guys need to get the fuck, need, need, need to get out, you know, like, they need to fix it or get out. I wouldn't have hired Jeff Sessions if I would have known, etc., etc. If Trump really was against Sessions, if he was really against Sessions, if he was really against Mueller, like, he has no problem firing people. This is the, this is the nature of Donald Trump. Donald Trump is a, is a, he's a businessman by nature. And, and he has no problem firing people if they aren't doing what he wants them to do. And uh, so that indicates to me that Jeff Sessions is actually doing what Donald Trump wants, to, wants him to do. Jeff Sessions is setting himself up as a person that, that is, you know, somewhat opposed to the Trump administration for the explicit purpose of making sure that the deep state and everybody thinks he's on their side by, you know, like, no, we're not doing this, we're not doing that. No, 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 Jeff Sessions, Jeff Sessions is on the same page as Donald Trump. They're playing in a gigantic stage, and they're all doing their part. It's all part of the plan. You don't understand. It's all part of the plan. And Mueller is in on the plan. This Russia investigation thing is not about Donald Trump. The Russia investigation thing is about draining the swamp. Or at least this is the first step in draining the swamp. The next step will be actual FBI, DOJ investigations against the people who used to have full power. The Obama administration, uh, the Bush administration, uh, there have been a number of people that have been working with them silently in the shadows, waiting for their moment to strike back. This has been Meatbag McMurk, a Pirate Party candidate for governor in Utah. Thank you.